You know, there's a reason some gardens thrive without anyone ever turning a compost pile. The secret lies in one overlooked method that uses fermentation instead of constant flipping. This trick has been quietly used for generations by self-sufficient farmers who needed fast composting without the labor. Instead of relying on heat and air to break down waste, this process turns your organic matter into rich, microbe-packed soil food through anaerobic fermentation. The result is faster nutrient breakdown, fewer pests, no odor, and compost that performs better than traditional piles. Pretty neat, right? The difference between fermentation and decomposition is what changes everything. Traditional composting depends on oxygen. You turn your pile to feed aerobic microbes that generate heat and break down materials. But fermentation skips the oxygen and lets specialized bacteria, like lactic acid bacteria and certain yeasts, take charge. These microbes digest organic waste in an oxygen-free environment preserving nutrients instead of burning them off as gas or heat. That's why fermented compost doesn't shrink as much and retains far more trace minerals and organic acids. Fascinating, isn't it? The process is cooler, slower at first, but much more stable and powerful once applied to soil. This is the same principle behind ancient Korean bokashi composting and certain Amish and Japanese farm techniques where waste is pre-fermented before being mixed into the earth. Now, let's talk about how to build the fermented layer so it works without turning. The goal here is to create a sealed, moisture-balanced layer that ferments instead of rots. You start with a base of carbon-rich material like chopped straw, shredded leaves, or fine wood chips. All right, this should make up about 60% of the mix. Then, add your nitrogen layer, things like kitchen scraps, green clippings, manure, or leftover garden waste, making up the remaining 40%. Instead of mixing, go ahead and sprinkle a microbial starter over each layer. This can be made by combining one tablespoon of molasses, a cup of rice rinse water, and a handful of finished compost, all diluted in a liter of water. Let this mixture sit for, like, two days. Then spray it over your pile as you build. You actually don't need to turn this pile at all. The microbes will handle everything internally, locking in moisture and nutrients while breaking down the waste into soft, dark humus. After layering, just cover the pile completely with a thick, airtight layer of old tarp, plastic sheeting, or even dense straw. The key here is to keep out air and rain. Within 10 to 15 days, the pile will start to give off a slightly sweet, sour smell, the sign of fermentation at work, not decay. A fermented compost layer finishes in about 4 to 6 weeks depending on temperature. You'll know it's ready when the material is soft, darker, and has a pleasant earthy smell, not a foul odor. Unlike traditional compost, this fermented layer won't heat up or steam, it stays cool because nutrients aren't burned away. Before using, leave it open for two or three days to let air re-enter and balance the microbes. At this stage, you can dig it directly into planting beds, or you know, mix it one to three with topsoil to create a really rich amendment. If you're preparing raised beds, spread one inch of the fermented material at the bottom then add three inches of garden soil and repeat the layer once more before topping off with mulch. This kind of layering allows microbes to spread slowly upward as the soil breathes, feeding roots as they grow. Gardeners report seeing earthworms arrive within a week because the fermented layer provides food that isn't too hot or dry, unlike conventional compost. So, why does this method revive poor soil faster than traditional composting? Well, fermented compost delivers nutrients in a pre-digested, plant-ready form. Plus, the beneficial bacteria and enzymes actually remain alive, ready to colonize the soil and get to work right away. Because there's no loss of nitrogen through heat, the compost stays richer in amino acids and trace minerals, which is honestly a huge advantage for your plants. When you work this compost into dense clay or sandy soil, these organic acids help break bonds between particles, which in turn improves both drainage and the overall structure of your soil. 
Over time, this increases the soil's ability to retain moisture and support microbial life, creating the kind of dark, crumbly loam most gardeners only achieve after years of turning and curing. Another major advantage is pest control. Anaerobic fermentation temporarily lowers pH, discouraging flies, rodents, and maggots from nesting. Once introduced into the soil, the pH neutralizes naturally as microbes balance themselves out. Simple adjustments make the system last year-round. In warm weather, cover your pile in a shaded area to prevent drying out. In colder climates, wrap it with an extra insulating layer of straw or leaves to keep fermentation active. You can also add finely crushed eggshells, rock dust or biochar to your layers to improve mineral content and long-term structure. If the pile becomes too wet, sprinkle a handful of dry leaves or sawdust. If it's too dry, just mist it with diluted molasses water to reactivate microbial growth. Once you master this method, you can produce steady compost without ever touching a shovel. The process scales easily, from a single bucket for balcony gardens to full beds for homesteads. It's a system that rewards patience and consistency over effort, producing biologically alive compost that continually rebuilds your soil. Fermented composting doesn't just save time, it changes how we think about waste, soil health, and microbial balance. It transforms scraps into living soil food without heat, without loss, and without the backbreaking labor of turning piles. Gardeners who switch to this method often find their soil improving faster, with richer structure, better worm activity, and stronger plant growth season after season. If you've been struggling to keep up with a slow, crusted compost pile, this one fermented layer could be the shortcut you've been missing. Try it once, observe the results, and you'll see why many old-world growers never gave up this technique. For more regenerative methods that turn any soil into fertile ground, make sure to subscribe to Hydrohaven and share this video with fellow gardeners who are ready to simplify composting without losing results.